deputy did not know who Ujiri was, asked him for a credential. Ujiri shoved the deputy out of the way, walked toward the court. Remember this BS? At the conclusion of Toronto's 2019 NBA season, winning their first ever NBA title at Oracle Arena against Stephen Curry and the Golden State Warriors, chaos ensued on the baseline, with Raptors team president Masai Ujiri and an officer from a sheriff's office with a troubling history. It turned into a he said, she said of events, even with video evidence disproving the allegations against Ujiri. This officer seen yelling at Ujiri claimed to have suffered damage to his jaw and a concussion. He did not appear concussed here, nonetheless. On top of this, the Globe and Mail interviewed three men who were sitting within 10 feet of the altercation, and each says they never saw Mr. Ujiri strike the officer's face. Ben Baller, a celebrity jeweler and entrepreneur, sat in a front row corner seat and witnessed Ujiri being declined access while holding a credential with one person yelling. But the officer shook his head, no, and pushed Mr. Ujiri. From what I saw, it was just shoving. There were no punches thrown or anything like that. Hilariously, the Alameda County Sheriff's Office nearly threatened to put out photographic evidence of Ujiri striking their officer, to which I ask, where are the photos, guys? Last night, opening night of the 2019-20 NBA season, the Alameda County Sheriff's Office owned their mistake on a perfectly timed news dump. Via the Mercury News, Toronto Raptors executive accused of pushing Alameda deputy won't face charges. The DA's office has determined that no criminal charges will be filed in the matter. However, Mr. Ujiri attended a meeting with the DA's office focused on matters that we believe merited constructive structured mediation and conflict resolution and were better handled in a setting outside the courtroom. Though they are unwavering in the officer's condition, the sheriff's deputy remains on medical leave with a jaw injury and post-concussion syndrome, said sheriff spokesman Sergeant Ray Kelly. Let's revisit this name, Sergeant Ray Kelly. He asked Mr. Ujiri for his credentials. Uh, Mr. Ujiri refused to produce the credential. This allegation was disputed by eyewitnesses. His office retweeted Richard Spencer. Kelly gave the Kelly spin. He was trying to close the video, hit a bunch of buttons at the bottom, and one must have been the retweet button, which is not how any part of Twitter works. Updated Twitter applications always require two-step confirmation for any retweet, so a user must confirm before a retweet goes out. It wouldn't stop there. It was previously reported that there was a massive cover-up in the police shooting of Oscar Grant, who was handcuffed when public transit cops shot him on New Year's Day in 2009. Their office co-signed a letter supporting Jeff Sessions' nomination to lead the DOJ. The department was sued in 2011 by a black driver who said he was racially profiled during a meritless traffic stop, an attorney with the San Francisco Public Defender's Office. They hosted an extremist, anti-government right-wing group called the Oath Keepers. So, in short, is it surprising a sheriff's office with this history would try to frame and tarnish the legacy of someone like Masai Ujiri not in the slightest. It is their mantra. Rather, an oath they keep.